Now that you know what the composition between functions is, and you also know how to write it properly, we are going to go through a couple of examples. Imagine that we are given two functions, f of x, which is equal to the square root of 2x minus 5, and also g of x, which is equal to x squared plus 1, and that we are asked to find f composed with g, but also g composed with f. We will start by calculating the first one. f composed with g of x. If you want to calculate f composed with g, and you want to know which one is the function that goes inside, it is easier if you rewrite this as we did in the previous video. So remember, starting from the left, you can write f composed with g of x as f of g of x. And now it is easy to see that the function that goes inside is g of x. Therefore, what we want to calculate is f of x squared plus 1, as x squared plus 1 is precisely g of x. If you want to calculate f of x squared plus 1, you just need to remember what we did before to calculate f of x squared. If you want to calculate f of x squared plus 1, what you have to do is go to f and replace every x by x squared plus 1. Therefore, we can write the square root of 2 pi, and now instead of x, I'm going to write x squared plus 1. Be careful here, because you need to use brackets, as the 2 was multiplying to the x before, and it needs to multiply to your x squared plus 1 now. We have that minus 5. Multiplying back, we get the square root of 2x squared plus 2 minus 5. If we join the 2 and the minus 5, we get the square root of 2x squared minus 3, which is f composed with g of x. If we calculate now the second one, g composed with f of x, we can do it in exactly the same way. We will rewrite it as we did before, starting from the left to the right, we can write g composed with f of x as g of f of x. So you can easily see that now the function that goes inside is f, and f goes inside g. Therefore, what you want to calculate now is g of the square root of 2x minus 5, which is precisely f. If you want to calculate g of the square root of 2x minus 5, what we need to do now is we need to go to g, and we need to replace every x by the square root of 2x minus 5. Therefore, we are going to have the square root of 2x minus 5, everything is square, plus 1. Remember, the square root square cancel each other, so we have only 2x minus 5 plus 1. If we join the minus 5 and the 1, that gives us 2x minus 4. 2x minus 4 is just g composed with f of x. So you can see that composing f with g is not the same as composing g with f.